Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some Duke 64. L.A. Rumble now. We're on L.A. Rumble, dude. Uh, this was always one of my favorite ones growing up. I, I don't know why exactly I like this one so much. I think maybe because it was, you know, it, it goes, like, kind of top to bottom, like some of these levels. I, and I don't like a lot of the levels that go top to bottom. Like, um, you know, you have to go on to multiple stories of buildings or, like, you know, you go down into the depths and then back up. Um, I don't like a lot of those. Some of them are done really well. This one I felt was done well because it's like you're contained in essentially a big cube. You see almost the whole level as soon as you go out here. But it is a top-down like that. See, my problem with a lot of the top-down levels are that um, they... You know, they make you go top down like that, but then also you, you you have to explore a lot of linear level too. Whereas this one, it's like you see everything, stuff just spawns when it wants to spawn, and you know, that's it essentially. I liked this one because I can use the heat seeking missiles very advantageously. I don't know where that guy's shooting from, I never do. God. The heat seeking rockets, dude. They're, like, the best and the worst thing in this game. Mostly the worst, honestly. Because, like, they decide to, like, curve down. Okay. Apparently I don't have a lot of, uh... A lot of ammo for any gun, really. There you go, finally. Alright. I do like the fact that, like, if you bounce the grenade, like, on the ground, it doesn't just go through the floor or something. Like, they made it more solid than it should be, I think. That way, you know, it does really feel like, uh, you know, it feels a little more realistic. Limitations, man. They had these limitations. Why are they called heat-seeking rockets? What are they heat-seeking right now? Because nothing... Nothing seems to be actually like I don't get it like the auto aim ones from the non heat seeking rocket variety wow what the hell even just happened what is happening right now oh <laughs> what the f dude oh, oh okay it's one of those guys okay where is he I need to get the height advantage on him and grab this uh, this old jetpack. See, this is why you need the jetpack very bad. Oh my god, everybody's got a jetpack though. And just, oh man, there's another one in here though, isn't there? Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's chaos, dude. It's LA Rumble, dude. It's chaos. I don't know how active he is still down there. I'll just throw some of those down to see. But it is absolute chaos here. Yeah, look at that. There's no auto aim there. Taint no auto aim there. You know, but it still just goes right on where I want it to go. So I got chased in by the sentry drones, by that, like, that battle guy. I don't know what his name is still, that little hovery guy. I'm just going to call him hovery guy because I really have no idea what to call him. Oh, yes. Another med kit down there. Die human? I don't think I've ever heard him say that. Did he fly back up now? There he is. He's still alive somehow. Okay. Three grenade shots later, he's down. 
Um, so something in here opens up. But I don't think I can open it up from this side. I have to open it up from the other side. Which is, I mean, more than fine. Uh, don't. Ah, oh, man, I messed that up. I, sh I, I don't know. For some reason, the thought process was just not there. I literally wasted that med kit so hard. And I said earlier in this playthrough, too, I was like, don't don't get the med kit unless you use the hell out of the other ones. And I did not use the hell out of anything. I used myself. We're going over here. Taking out these guys. I think they might have spawned again. They did. Oh, what a art. Oh, what the hell? That one worked. Whoa, okay. I definitely don't have the uh, proper guns for that. Yeah, see, this is where my my knowledge of this game gets a little fuzzier, you know? I start to, uh... I start to do things out of order or not know who's coming when and where and all that. Red key. Red key before the blue key. And the red key... I think opens up the thing in here. So you can skip a lot of the stage. But ain't no way I'm skipping a lot of the stage. I like this stage. Come on. Where's my stuff? There's the right gun. Yeah, that's the only thing that really kind of blows, is trying to find the right guns and items in time. You know, it's cool they added all these extra guns, but man, it is just really a trial to... You know, like, okay, I want a grenade launcher here, but if that guy comes, you know, towards me like that, I need to be able to switch fast, you know? Alright, we're gonna fly over here. And somebody's shooting me, these guys, I guess. See, this would have been a perfect opportunity to have that med kit just chill in there, you know? However, I think... Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. All of the things that explode are right there. No! Oh, my God. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I need to just regroup in here. Oh, my God. All right. And now in the starting spot, look at that, there's so many of them. I can just, you know, start doing the things I need to do. I really didn't mean to take that vitamin X. And so I have that heart pumping noise in the background now too. And oh my god, it just makes everything more intense. Three of these guys, three of these freaking guys, dude. Jesus Christ! Oh, and really? The icing on the cake right there. Oh, what the hell? Freaking pig cops. Damn it. God! Dude, it is unreal down here. I haven't even gotten the blue key card yet. Okay. All right, everybody. I didn't even hear that one, you know? Like, what the hell is going on? I really don't want to use so much jetpack yet. I've been using just nonstop jetpack. There's also usually a sign up there. I don't know why the sign's not there now. God, I'm glad I got that expander. I like the expander. It is hard to find a spot to use it in. Dude, that got way too intense, way too fast. Like, that was ridiculous. Hello? Oh, you're behind me. 
Yeah, you just don't want to lose on this one. You don't want to lose your progress and stuff. You don't want to die, you know? You don't want to die. All right, here's this. It says, like, below the knife or something on the wall next to us. And that's how you can tell. Like, if you go here and you use your night vision goggles, that wall says, like, below the knife or something. And so one of these opens up. There you go. Okay. Nice and one space marine. easy to see in here. <laughs> so I think there's a space marine from Doom in here is why he said that's one doomed space marine. Obviously, mm. but... Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, I walked into the torch. There's a torch over here in the jail. You know, as there always is, right? Um, oh, I have 100% night vision. Maybe I just got that. Alright, there we go. Let's, uh... Climb through here. Mm. All right. And we are back into this area. I don't know how many more of those dudes, realistically, there can be out here, but hopefully not many. Cool. I like it. Save all these dudes. Grab these atomic healths, just chill in there. We get the hell out of here. I don't know how you're supposed to do this if you don't have a jetpack. I'm assuming there's some way to like manipulate stuff to get up there or you know, parkour up there or something, but I I have no idea. Yeah, get fucked. What was that? Oh, was it this? It was that, okay. See they used different noises for different things. Like, very inconsistently. So, like, that noise is usually for, like, a door swinging open. Look at that. 100% of that one. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and it's just weird. I don't know. Because... <laughs> you know, you just don't expect those kind of sounds to come out of those kind of doors. And you don't, you don't know. Um, now, there's a famous glitch on this one where you can skip the whole thing. I don't think I can do it on the 64. Um, yeah, you can just, like, crouch, jump under there or something, and you're, you're good to go. That's it. Um, there's also, if you hit this register, there is... Um, There's some health in there. Some atomic health um, back by the uh, where you can glitch under the end of the map there. So there's a, there's a secret level on here. This is movie set. I really like movie set. Some people hate it. I don't know why. I love this. I love this map though. I think it's kind of fun, unique. Um, you know, again, colorful. You see different set pieces, which is kind of funny. Different like memes of the day and callbacks and stuff. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, hello? Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, I knew some people were supposed to spawn here. I didn't know where, though. That seems to be where. Get that atomic health up there. And we gonna keep on going here. There's an atomic health in there, too. That'll be nice for later. I'm not sure where this guy is. Oh, there he is. Alright, get the hell out of here. Um, Alright, let's move on. Let's go get it. Okay, atomic health up there too. See, this is where we have to start really remembering like where all these atomic healths and stuff are. Um... Ow. Just because, um... You'll, you'll just need them going forward, you know? It's just one of those things where you cannot afford to not have it. But there's so many on... There's literally tons of atomic health on this level. 
Um, so it's awesome. You can just... I don't know what that is either. I hear that. I hear that noise, and I have no idea what that actually opens. <laughs> it's more of those, uh... It's fun little, uh... Oh, God. It's funny, even though this is like, you know, technically... Not a super hard, uh... <laughs> not a super hard difficulty. It sure does feel pretty hard. I don't know where this guy is. Maybe he's outside. He must be outside, I would assume. Oh, there he is. Yeah, what the hell? Alright, cool. Get fucked. Now, fun fact about this place. Uh... This is actually where... Where is it? This is where the secret ending is on this level. Um on Duke 3D. However, we are not on Duke 3D, and that's just a little hole with babes and some useless ammo and stuff in it. Um, God damn it. I should just use this jetpack, honestly. Yeah, for real. Let's just use the jetpack. Okay. Um, the secret level is actually around the corner. So where I found that atomic health on top of like the van or whatever that thing was, that is where the uh, the actual atomic health is. Uh, if you didn't know, I don't think that killed him. Didn't sound like it killed him. It'll just blow me up instead. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. There he goes. There's an atomic health in there, as you can see. Um, and then freaking another one. Oh, what the hell? Like in here. And a jetpack. You can just jump through this wall here. Look at that, another atomic health. Crazy, man. It's crazy, man. I can't believe it. You know what? I was just telling my friend the other day. I don't know why I thought of it. I guess because I'm getting hungry now. But um, I literally went to the store. I had these hot dogs at home. And uh, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Let's make some freaking hot dogs or something. Uh, and I bought hamburger buns, which, you know, first world problems as fuck. But still. Like, I mean, it's just, it's just stupid. It's not like a problem problem. I can use them, I guess. It's kind of weird, but, you know. What, like, I, I don't even need... Why do I get hamburger buns? What did I think I had? <laughs> like, it's just so strange to me. I hate when I have those, like, lapses. Where I'm just like, oh, yeah, you know. I don't know if you guys have ever had that. Where you just go to the store and just grab stuff. And you're like, yep. Yeah, I think I'm going to need this, uh... <laughs> this freaking, you know, grilling corn kit in the middle of winter. Yeah, that sounds like something I'll need. It's so stupid. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a problem. You don't want to get caught in that crossfire. And I'm getting caught in it. Dude, is this even doing damage to him? Like... <clears throat> okay, there we go. Guess I gotta go in the bottom here. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Um... That's everything, I think, right? <clears throat> Because going in that opens this up. I'll show you all what that is. It opens this. So then you can go down there and you can, you know, do your thing. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? I just fucked it up. Fantastic. All right. I did not remember that. So apparently that's it. Um, God damn it. Area 51 is around the corner. That's a whole ass map we won't be able to do now because I didn't realize that caved in on us. Well, I guess uh, we'll have to do like a bonus portion after this at some point. We will get back and do it. <laughs> okay. What the hell was that? Uh, we will get back and do it. I promise. 
Um, yeah, we have to do Area 51. Area 51, honestly, is a pretty complicated, long map anyway, so... I guess we should do a whole episode just devoted to that, but that's really a shame. That sucks. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll pick it up next time, and I promise I won't do that again. I literally had no idea. I usually always go to Area 51, so I forgot it caved in. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you have a good one. Please take it easy. Um, ooh, you know what I could do? Okay, I know what I'll do. I will stop this playthrough here, and I'll just pick it up next time, and we'll take it. Maybe from Area 51 or show how to get there. Maybe we'll show how to get there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Either way. Um, thank you all for hanging out. I love you guys. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this. And uh, we will we will do the thing for sure. We'll keep we'll keep trucking. Uh, have a good one.